When I was younger, I always, always had somebody I admired. I'm a teenager. I, can, I always had somebody that I admired or that I wanted to aspire to, always. Hi, I'm Mandy Evel. I'm CEO of the Infinite Mind Company. I probably got into coaching a long, long time ago, but I didn't know it at the time. So from a very early age, I had a real interest in who I was, why I was on this planet, why I was here. And as a result of that, I've always started looking at myself and why I do things. And alongside of that, I had an innate desire to help people. I wasn't consciously aware of that, but I, I started working with people. I started wanting to help people. I started way back um, in social work, actually, um, working with children. So it was always I wanted to help. And in fact, in the work that I do now, probably eight out of 10 people that I speak to, when I ask them what they want, they say they want to help people. So I think all human beings have this innate desire to help people. But I also loved business, absolutely loved business. So I started building businesses and I started creating businesses and some of them were, were good and some of them didn't work out. If you think about business, business is serving people. I thought I was doing really well. So I had a business consultancy business and it was doing really well from the outside. I was, you know, I was successful. So my friends would think that I was successful. I had nice cars, I went on nice holidays. I had a great lifestyle, except I worked pretty hard. But I also had plateaued out and I knew that I could do more. Um, and I did what everybody else does. I worked harder and I worked harder and harder and harder and harder until finally I burnt out. Because there was a limit of how many hours I could work in a day. And it didn't help. I didn't get to where I wanted to get to. I didn't get that fulfillment of achieving more. I just worked harder. Burnt out, gave it all up, said that's enough, not doing this. Closed that company down, closed that business down, and I absolutely didn't know what to do. I had all these skills, I had all the abilities, and I hadn't got a clue what to do. I lived on my savings for a bit, and then they ran out. So there I was with nothing. And it was at that time that Bob Proctor showed up in my life and it was a beautiful opportunity for me. And I'm so, so pleased that I, you know, I took that opportunity to work side by side with him because it was then that I saw the missing jigsaw piece. I'd done all that 15 years of self-development, 15 years of learning this technique and that technique, and I still got stuck. So that's why I do what I do, because Bob taught me the missing jigsaw piece. And we don't have to work hard. I've ne I've, I don't work hard now, and I achieve more in my life. I achieve more in my businesses. I achieve more in my relationships. Why? Because that missing jigsaw piece is key, and that's what most people want. It's like the key that opens the, the magic door, opens the door to whatever it is you want. And that's what I found. So that's why I will always do this now, forever. Success isn't an accident. It's a system behind success, and we can show you how to get the success that you want. So if you're ready to step up in your life, get in touch.